Our team coverage continuing now. The shooting in New York City has led to increased police presence at major stations here in Connecticut, including Union Station in New Haven. Fox 61's Tony Black is live there tonight, getting travelers' reactions to this shooting. Tony. Yeah, Ben and Jen, we have seen officers from state police to New Haven police to Amtrak police patrolling Union Station today. Two officers uh, just went down to the platforms with a canine patrolling, and those travelers we spoke with say it does make them feel safer getting on board, especially after that shooting this morning. It's a tragedy. Uh, it's awful to hear, to wake up and hear that news. Riders here at Union Station in New Haven are in shock after a shooting at a Brooklyn train station Tuesday morning injured at least 10 people. A lot of travelers come here to get into the city and vice versa. Connecticut State Police tweeting they're working with state, local and federal agencies and have been assigned to the New York City Federal Task Force. While no threat has been made to the state, they are patrolling several areas. Ben Finkelstein heading to Manhattan says that this does make him more cautious cautious hopping on the trains. A little bit. I think it's always good to be cautious. Police increased their presence in main travel hubs close to the city, including Union Station. Canines were on patrol as well. Sonia Trimmingham says that does help ease her worries. I couldn't even imagine being in that situation because I would definitely freak out. Like, and I don't wish that on anyone. She commuted to Connecticut from the city, where she says the response was apparent. It's very scary, first of all, and it just seemed just out of the blue, out of nowhere. And I didn't notice the increase in presence at Grand Central Station especially. Connecticut Governor Ned Lamont said Tuesday that he is concerned, knowing the number of people that come in and out of the state every day from Brooklyn. Because that train uh, could come right up to Connecticut. He calls it extreme behavior and says it's still hard adjusting to life outside the pandemic. My heart goes out to... New York City. Travelers like Fred Alex say they're glad police are taking the appropriate response not only in New York City, but also here in Connecticut. When it does come around, uh, this sort of information, it, it, this, it does leave me shocked. And as you guys mentioned, police have not uh, identified a suspect yet. They did provide a description of his clothing, but travelers I spoke with here today say that that does concern them a little bit, knowing that he is still out there, but they say they'll just have to proceed with caution. We're live in New Haven, Tony Black, Fox 61 News.